everyone, Jenna McPhee here. I'm talking again with Peter Ashley and he's going to be talking about the 84th Regiment and they weren't all Highlanders. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, when the Royal Highland immigrants were formed, it would, uh, the name would seem to imply that the entire regiment was Highlanders, especially when they were dressed like Highlanders. But the truth of the matter is they weren't all Highlanders. Recruitment for the regiment occurred all over basically North America, uh, even in South Carolina. So uh, a lot of them were not Highlanders, but in particular I want to focus on uh, some of the ones that were captured during the Battle of Long Island in 1776. These included people like uh, William Gill, who was uh, actually English, he wasn't uh, Scottish, John Dalrymple, uh, who was uh, Irish. As if to prove uh, uh, that a lot of the uh, soldiers who were in the 2nd Battalion, 84th Regiment, that settled here, uh, one only needs to look at, uh, this is a page from the census of 1817, and those soldiers who were still alive, uh, it checked off. It said uh, whether they were uh, English, Scotch, or Irish, American, or foreigners. I'm not sure exactly what foreigners meant, uh, or Acadians, which referred to anyone who was Nova Scotia born. During the Battle of Long Island, uh, when the British uh, crossed over New York Harbor and landed in, in uh, Long Island, the front line of the uh, American Army was almost exclusively uh, Pennsylvania regiments. Not all, but a lot of them. And on the far left, if you were in the British Army, was uh, a group called the 2nd uh, Battalion uh, Northumberland Associators. They were from Pennsylvania. And on the far right was a Pennsylvania Rifle Regiment commanded by Colonel Samuel Miles. On both sides of, of that line, when the British just swept through and uh, captured so many of these American soldiers, as so many of these Pennsylvania soldiers, uh, they were given the, the option of joining the British Army after the battle or being put on a prison hall, and they chose wisely. They chose to enlist with the Royal Highland immigrants. Some of these Germans included uh, George Miller, Christian Henniger, who was actually Hagenger in the, in the uh, muster roll of his regiment, Louis Ettinger, who was actually Ludwig Ettinger in, in the same regiment. They were commanded by uh, Colonel Peter Catchling, and they were members of uh, Captain Hagenbach's company and they were captured. They ended up settling here in Douglas Township in what is now Upper Kennecook, uh, same with George Miller. So uh, George Miller actually uh, enlisted in Philadelphia in uh, early 1776, was stationed on, at a fort called Liberty I on Liberty Island, and when his regiment moved out, they had to march all the way to Perth Amboy, which was uh, in New Jersey. From there, they were ordered to New York. And once they got to New York, they immediately went to the front line. I'd like to talk a little bit about George Miller. I happen to know, I guess, a little more about him because I'm a direct descendant of his. But when uh, he was captured on the far right, he was uh, in the Pennsylvania Rifle Regiment in uh, Captain Lewis Farmer's company. And uh, he was captured, and his father, who was in the same company, the same regiment, uh, managed to escape. So had, uh, there was a possibility that during the war, when the Grand Air Company, which is what George Miller eventually uh, was put in, in the 84th Regiment, had they gone uh, back to the United States to fight, he might have ended up fighting against his own father, but that was the nature of the 
American Revolution. It was uh, basically a civil war. And uh, George Miller, uh, like I said, he was captured and he ended up uh, enlisting with the Royal Highland immigrants. So they weren't all Highlanders. There was uh, English, there was Irish, there was uh, Americans, uh, regular Americans, they, uh, and there were certainly Pennsylvania Germans. And later on, when the uh, recruitment, when five battalion or five companies of the uh, battalion went to South Carolina, they ended up recruiting South Carolinians. So, um, so, and a lot of those were not Highlanders.